some more tractor trailers, some more trailers turned over. So this is, it looks like sheet metal from the roof. Oh yeah, look at all these trucks that are turned over. A lot of chips gone bad there. Looks like it is a war zone. I described an apartment complex earlier as looking like a war zone, but you look at this and you see the heavy damage to some of these homes, some of these homes uh, with minor damage, other ones completely leveled. And again, neighbor helping neighbor. We've seen a lot of that going on today. People coming out and helping their neighbors uh, try and clear debris, trying to clear the roads so uh, cars can get through. Uh, here's a neighbor that, uh, that might be a contractor already working on patching the holes in, uh, in the roof of that particular home. So the devastation is everywhere throughout the Dayton area, north of Dayton, uh, to the east and to the west of Dayton. And it looks like this uh, tornado actually took a little bit of an easterly uh, to the southeast path when normally we see tornadoes go to the northeast from the southwest to the northeast. But that doesn't seem to have been the case with this one. So here's a, a, some more homes that uh, are heavily damaged right across the street from those uh, commercial buildings that we just showed you. So uh, a lot of work uh, remains to be done here in the Dayton area for life to get back to normal. I'm Dan Carroll in Chopper 9. All right, feed room, uh, we get that one all right. Yeah, we can go back and uh, and do that first one again. So uh, staying at, in the area known as Old North Dayton, and we've been seeing a lot of damage in the neighborhoods and a lot of damage to commercial uh, buildings as well. This is a, uh, a warehouse where there are a lot of uh, Frito-Lay vans, and a lot of these out here that, that wound up completely upside down. You can see the wheels are up in the air. A lot of these trucks have been banged into each other. That came through here's a couple of these trucks that are on their side in the parking lot so a lot of damage to the commercial and we, we've seen other dozens and dozens of other commercial buildings car dealerships uh, we saw a caterpillar building where there were a couple of uh, their trailers that were blown into a nearby creek here's a neighborhood right across the street and this home all I mean, uh, dozens of homes here are uh, destroyed by the, uh, the high winds that came through, and if it was indeed a tornado that came through this area. But look at all the sheet metal that wrapped around uh, that utility pole right in front of this house that came off those uh, buildings right across the street. And again, more devastation. And uh, again, we see the neighbors in uh, this neighborhood and other neighborhoods as they continue to try and dig out and try and get life back to normal. But we saw a lot of neighbors taking uh, those matters into their own hands. Uh, people that live in the neighborhoods, cleaning up debris, trying to get the roads clear. So at the very least, they can get cars through and uh, even Yeah, we'll, get, we'll shoot a couple of look lives, and then we'll head back to Lunkin for the noon. I mean, I didn't think we'd be up here this long initially, but then they wanted us for the, the, the 10 for the... Uh, 
Lifestyle Cincinnati. All right. So what? What are we about four or five miles north of downtown Dayton? 